we're going to look at a question now to develop our intuition around speed and acceleration. This question looks at a car that's moving down a road and the graph that I've shown here plots its position as a function of time. And I've given four choices here and I'm asking which of the following is true. Is it the case that the car is speeding up all the time? Is it slowing down all the time? Is it the case that it speeds up and then slows down? Or is it speed constant? To answer this, we need to actually learn something about the speed or the velocity of this car. And we also need to learn something about the acceleration because it's asking about slowing down, which is essentially changing in speed or uh, speeding up, which is again changing in speed but in the opposite sense. So how do we learn about uh, what, the, what the velocity is doing? It's easiest if we pick some times here. Let's just pick three. And the velocity of, of, it would be indicated by the slope of the tangent line at this point on the graph. So at this point on the graph, right there, I could draw a tangent line. And that would be the, the slope of that tangent line would be the velocity at that point on the graph. I could do the same right here. And I could do the same right here. And one thing you notice is that the slope is the largest and then is steadily decreasing. In fact, if I were to draw it even further out, it seems like the slope would be zero. So it's the case that v1 is larger than v2 is larger than v3. And if I were to sketch velocity versus time, it looks like it might look something like this. So in fact, I, I, it seems like it's slowing down. So that would be answer B. Notice that I've drawn the velocity positive because all these slopes are positive. It's just that they're getting closer and closer. The velocity is getting closer and closer to zero. So this is the best way to look at the problem. And then since the velocity is changing, we can also ask what's the acceleration doing. And it looks like um, the acceleration would, again, be tangent lines to this velocity graph. It looks like it would be a negative acceleration, which makes sense. Um, it's a negative acceleration is the, the case when the speed is slowing down. There's a counterintuitive feature of this graph, which takes a lot, some folks a little bit extra time to digest, and that is that the acceleration can be negative even though the velocity is always positive throughout here. The fact that the acceleration has the opposite sign as the velocity really indicates that the velocity will be slowing down or be decreasing. So it's a little bit like uh, hearing a stock market report where corporate growth might be 5% for this year and it was 18% last year and this has analysts all excited because they realize that a slowdown is about to occur. Although the growth is still there and it's positive, it's 5% this year, it's not as large as it used to be, and as a result, they, they notice a trend that there's a slowdown occurring. In the same way, the velocity at this point in the graph is positive, but it's not as positive as it was over here. And so the acceleration, which is a change in velocity over a change in time, is negative, indicating that the velocity will continue to trend downward toward the, toward the origin.